Erin McCoy and I'm the Criminal Justice Librarian here at Massasoit Community College. That means that I help criminal justice students with their research and I work with faculty to make sure you have the resources you need to be successful. Now this entire course is built around your capstone project. The capstone project is meant to be a culminating intellectual experience for you, which means that all the thoughts you've had and the research that you've done throughout your program and the things that interest you as you've gone through your classes can be communicated in this paper. The course is built to give you checkpoints along the way and myself as well as the entire library of resources is available to you as you engage in this research. We don't want you to wait until the last minute to do your research and write your paper. We want you to be successful. So the real question is what does research mean? We talk about research all the time in our everyday lives. We research our medical symptoms online. We find reviews of a restaurant or a movie. And we search before we make a big decision we're about to make in our lives. However, research in an academic setting is not about finding out answers to questions. It's about discovering what questions are out there in the first place. In criminal justice, it means questioning the various causes of a phenomenon like measuring the effectiveness of community policing in rural America or the impact of youth-oriented restorative justice programs. This means you will look at how others have approached those questions, find out where they agree and disagree, and pull all of those ideas together to create some new ideas. Research is actually a wonderfully exciting endeavor as well as a creative experience. But what is a research paper going to look like? Sometimes the easiest way to identify something is to look at what that something is not. This is especially true with a research project. A research paper does not include Wikipedia articles, articles from news sites, or blog posts from the web. These kinds of sources are not appropriate when crafting an argument. A research paper also does not include your opinion about the topic at hand. A research paper is not 20 pages of quotes copied and pasted from other scholars about your topic. A research paper is not a collection of article summaries. Instead, a research paper must show how those articles you've read and the conclusions other scholars have come to and their data interact with one another. A research paper uses the evidence from other scholars and researchers to support a new idea or conclusion. Many students believe that research papers are accomplished in a certain order that follows a very specific timeline. Choose the topic, do research, write the paper, edit the paper, turn in the paper. As you can see on your syllabus, there are checkpoints that keep you accountable to some of those elements but a research project is much more fluid than that. The research begins right away. Once you get your assignment and think about your topic, some questions to help you with that step are, what research is already out there on my topic idea? What interesting relationships can I see in the research already done? And is this interesting? You may end up using some of the sources you find at this early stage, but you may not. It is imperative you give yourself time to engage in this early step. Then you enter the cycle of research and writing. The research you do will help you refine your topic and will guide your writing. As you outline and write, you will see places where you will need further evidence. Research includes not just searching for things and finding things, but also reading the material you find. It can be difficult to know what will be useful based on the title of an article. Again, giving yourself time to do this is incredibly important. The bulk of your time will be in the center of this cycle, which continues to repeat until you are satisfied or you are out of time. Your finished product should include the research you have been doing and tracking as you've been navigating the research cycle. This means all your research is cited within the paper and referenced in the work cited page. Reviewing your work at this stage will help you avoid plagiarism and make sure you are communicating your own ideas clearly. 
Hopefully now you feel a little more comfortable with what this kind of research is going to entail. The next video from me is going to walk you through your research guide that I've created that leads you to the resources that you need at the time that you're going to need them and will hopefully help you stay a little more organized. Please reach out if you have any questions or issues with your research as you work through this process. I'm excited to work with you on your capstone project.